here's the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. Let's go, Bruno! Come on, what's up, students? Good to see you. Teachers, oh, they brought the matching outfits today. Mwah, chef's kiss. You guys look great. Thank you for being here today, ladies and gentlemen. We have our students ready to rock and roll against their teachers from Radnor Middle School in Delaware County. They're officially on the classroom. I'm so happy they're here because I'm going to let these students try to tell me that they're smarter than their favorite teachers. It's winner take all in the cash, the bragging rights. Everything's headed back to Radnor before we start this show. Guys, are you ready for this? It's a pop quiz. <laughs> Grab your buzzers. We have one minute on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. Oh, I got good news and bad news. The good news, the show about to start. The bad news, I just looked at these questions and the hardest ones I've ever seen in my life. Good luck to both squads. This game starts right now. What US state is home to the heart of the American theater industry referred to as Broadway? First one in, Miss Howie. New York. New York is right. Players use a club to hit a ball around obstacles and into a hole with the fewest strokes possible in what boardwalk attraction that is also known as putt putt? Leah. Mini golf. Mini golf is right. What is the term for the process of breaking down food into substances that body can use for energy, tissue growth, and repair? First one in, Miss Stockerty. Digestion. Digestion is right. A family of ducks convinced their overprotective father to go on an adventure of a lifetime to Jamaica in what 2023 movie from Illumination? Leah. Migration. Migration is right. Great movie, by the way. Ooh, that sound. Double the points, extra credit. Here it is. In Greek mythology, what is the name of the goddess of love and beauty? Leah. Aphrodite. That is right. It's going to get you up to 40 points and the lead. What thirst-quenching sports drink was invented in 1965 at the University of Florida named for the school's sports teams? Gatorade. Ms. Howie. Gatorade. Gatorade. Students, drink your Haterade. Teachers, grab the last question and get up to 30 points. But look who's winning the game right now. Students, out of it with 40 points. And Leah, you are on fire. Unbelievable team captain answering them all straight, feeling good about herself, and you should. You're joined by two excellent compadres over there ready to get after it. Dalton, Bruno, we're going to meet you guys in just a second, but we have the students and teachers from Radnor Middle School in Wayne, Pennsylvania. Hey, they call themselves the Raptors. Let's meet these prehistoric dinosaurs. My name is Leah. Uh, I'm in eighth grade, and we're going to win. My name's Dalton. I'm in eighth grade, and Mrs. Howie's going down. I'm Bruno, I'm in 8th grade, and my favorite subject is lunch. My name is Erin Howie, I teach 7th grade language arts at Radnor Middle School to the best kids in the state. Uh, shout out to Hud and Nash, my two boys at home. Hi, my name's Chrissy Doherty, I teach 7th grade science, and I'm going to give a shout out to my boys, John and Liam. I'm Patricia Pizzariello, I teach 7th and 8th grade math at Radnor Middle School, and today, I'm your problem. All right, great to meet our teams both sides. A little shout outs from the kids, but I'm going right down to Bruno, whose favorite subject is lunch. I also was a big fan of that period of the day. Tell me what the hot thing is in the cafeteria right now. Um, I don't really buy lunch, but I see other kids, most of the kids buy pizza. Pizzas, pizza's the hot one? Yeah. You're not gonna believe, ready? Baked potato soup was the hot one back in 2005 in my senior year. Listen, those lunch ladies, shout out to you guys, did a great job. All right, everybody, are you ready? Buckle up because we're playing detention. Let's go. Put your buzzers down. You'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. All right, students, you get 40. I'm no mathematician, but that would take you up to 80 points and commanding lead of the game. But teachers, you can take the lead back with the detention win here. So we're going to start with the trailing team. Teachers, down by 10 after pop quiz. We start with you on this category to pass or play on. Here you go. Sports. Captain. 
need an answer. Uh, we will play. We're gonna play. Here's your question. What is the standard sports term for a player not under contract to any specific team and able to sign with any club or franchise? Free agent. Free agent is right. There you go. Okay, is it Leah Dalton or Bruno who now have to go to detention? Leah. Okay, bye not bye discussing Leah. it, Leah. Leah You're bye. out of the game. Leah. That's it. Yeah. Leaving my man Dalton and Bruno holding it down for the fellas here. Students, you're going to control the board, though, and that is huge. You get to choose whether you want to pass or play on this next one. Careful sending it back to the teachers or careful taking the category. Here it is. Music. Uh, we'll play. You're going to play. Here's your question, guys. What 2024 song by Sabrina Carpenter features Eternals actor Barry Keoghan in the music video? Answer? Uh, espresso. You know, that's a good guess. I wouldn't have known that one either. Please, please, please is the answer there, guys. All right, Dalton, Bruno, stay right there. One of you is out of the game. Teachers, it's up to you who that is. Dalton. Oh, no. <laughs> Bruno. Barry's the head. Bruno, would you have preferred in this situation to be sent to detention or left yes. right there? Gone to detention. Detention's very similar to lunch. I can see why that would be appetizing. All right, teachers, you control the round as well as the category to pass or play on. Here we go. Social studies. Pass. Oh, my man. Listen to me, Bruno. Your back's against the wall. You put your head back because you didn't want to play it. Now is the moment. You come out, guns a blazing. Are you ready to go? Here we go. What is the, What was the term for the ancient system of writing? created by the Sumerians that is characterized by wedge-shaped marks. Hieroglyphics? The answer was cuneiform. Cuneiform, unfortunately, Bruno, that was a good guess by you. Sorry, you don't get it done. You can go have some lunch with the squad. You go to detention. You're out of the game, my friend. Teachers, how about it? You guys take the lead, get up to 70 points. And officially, hey, you guys are you guys are leading the way as teachers. Let's stay right there. Listen, you stay right there too when we come back. These guys will be showing off their art skills. Stay right there. You're watching the classroom. It's dark over here, you guys. It's dark. classroom right there. I'm glad they got the bird's eye view of it. Welcome back in studio on the show today. It's the te uh, students and teachers from Radnor Middle School in Delaware County. I'm so pumped they are here and art classes are right around the corner. Here's how to play the game. Each team selected one player to draw. The first artist will select a card with a word or phrase hidden on the inside. Hmm? They will have five seconds to draw, then their teammates will have 10 seconds to talk and make one guess. A correct answer is worth 30 points, and if the team guesses incorrectly, I'll give them a couple more chances, but the points hmm? decrease. Yeah, simple as that. It's an easy game to play, right? Just draw super fast and make it exactly what's on this card, and you got yourself 30 points. Mm -hmm. Are you an artist? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, your hair right now is artistry. That thing is perfectly <laughs> feathered. My goodness. All right, show me your ways, but first, pick a color. I'll pick red. All right, you stand back there. Red for Radner. Go Raptors. You're going to take a look at that card. I'm going to slide this one back in here. That's going to be for the teacher. All right, that's what you're drawing. Give me that card back. Do you feel confident? Yeah. I feel confident for you. I don't even know what he's drawing. Here we go. Time starts right now. Five seconds. You got to go quick. All right, stop right there. You guys ready? Yes. Yep. What did he draw? Baseball. Is that your guess? Yep. Yes. Okay, I guess that's really good. There was no discussion there. Hey, Bruno, this is just like lunch, man. This is your this yep. is your thing. Yep. Maybe you're this just really hand. good at art class. Don't. Well done, my friend. You're gonna switch with our teacher friend over here as I erase the board. Come on out here, teachers. All right. That's how. Here we go. Can you believe that what the students just did was tie the game 70 points each? I give you the blue card. Stand behind here, open that up. Okay, that's what you're drawing, okay? 
And remember, you have five seconds to do it. Dalton was over here taking his time. Teachers, are you ready? Are you ready? Time starts now, let's go. My gosh, wait till you see this. Are you ready? Tinctures, talk it through. Which? Which is correct. Un this might be on our Hall of Fame for the greatest five second drawing I have ever seen on this show. And listen, when you draw this well, you got to take a look at these things. Get these puppies on the show. This is little cowboys with the diamonds in it. Did you pick that specifically for the show yes, today? Yes, I did. Hey, you're yes. shining bright like a diamond, just like Rihanna said. <laughs> hey, teachers, take the lead. Get back up to 100 points on the game. Students trailing, but I mean, students, you're right there. You're playing an awesome one. So what do you say? We throw a little extra credit into the mix. Boots. All right, I'm going to ask one extra credit question today. Both teams will have one minute during the commercial break to write down your answer. Correct answer here is worth 10 points. And if you're at home, play along. Let's do it. What 2023 video game developed by Recreate Games features players controlling characters like puppies, kittens, ducks, bunnies, sharks, dinosaurs, and my favorite, unicorns, battling to knock their opponents out. One of my all-time favorite games. Hey, do you know the answer? Let's play it when we come back. Hey, Classroom continues next. Good round, good round. Inside the classroom today, we have the students and teachers from Radnor Middle School in Delaware County. Hey, the scores teachers came in doing their job, takes the lead after art class, gets up to 100 points. You guys feeling confident right now? Yes, About we are. Question or overall? Yeah. <laughs> Video games is coming up. Get ready, but not quite yet. Students, 70 points for you guys. Leah, I'm looking down the squad. You guys were high five, and I feel the energy over here. Yes. Okay, there. I got to ask better questions is what I just learned. All right, guys, before the break, I asked both teams an extra credit question because we love extra credit. And here it was. What 2023 video game developed by Recreate Games features players controlling characters like puppies, kittens, ducks, bunnies, sharks, dinosaurs, and unicorns battling to knock their opponents out. All right. We're going to start with our students. Leah, you guys love video games. Dalton's got an Xbox. Bruno's got a PS5. Leah, you got a Game Boy. <laughs> Do they still make those? I don't know. What was the answer? Mario Super Smash Bros. No correction. Teachers, how about you? Miss Howie, you owned a Game Boy back in the day with me. <laughs> yeah. Which answer did you say? We... Video games are bad. You guys, what is <laughs> happening right now? We all need to put the books down and pick up the video games. I'm going to buzz that for you. Eh. The answer was Fall Guys. No, it wasn't. They're telling me the answer was Party Animals? I also got it wrong. She said, do you know it? I said, yeah, I know it. I didn't know it. Party Animals. We're all going to try that later. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> all right, students, if you win, you get a lot of money. Where's it going to go, Leah? I mean, I get a ping pong table, obviously. You're going to get a what? A ping pong table. To do what with? Like, play ping pong. Crush ping pong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, honest to goodness, schools need a ping pong table. Uh, do you have a doubles partner yet? I mean, I don't need a doubles. It's like one via everyone. What know? I was looking for was, do you want to be my doubles partner? Oh, my bad. Do you uh, want to be my doubles yeah, partner? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, 100%. You guys, good luck. I don't care who wins or loses, but I really hope you win. Teachers, good luck following that. What do you have? So every year at our school, we do a big fundraiser for childhood cancer. Um, so the Radnor Minithon, which is you know a proponent for raising money for kids who are struggling with, with cancer. So that's where we want to send it. That's a perfect place to put yeah. it. Listen. I thought a ping pong table was cool. That sounds awesome. Both sides, excellent choices on where that money could go. It's going to be helping students either way. All right, you guys, teachers, students, we are in a battle. But you know what I want to do? Get out of here. Let's go. Everyone hop on the bus. We're taking a field trip. <laughs> Grab your buzzers. We will ask you three questions from a special location. The first person to buzz in and get the correct answer to each question will win 10 points for their team. 
If you buzz in and get it incorrect, a member of the other team will have a chance to buzz in and steal. Okay, today we are taking a field trip to Long Beach Island. Jennifer Frederick from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia is going to be asking the questions today. Jen, welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. What's question number one? Anytime is a great time to have a field trip down the shore. We are in Long Beach Island with the beautiful ocean behind us. So I bet you know what type of questions we're going to ask. Question number one, tides or the natural rising and falling of the oceans are predominantly caused by what objects gravitational pull on the earth? Ms. Doherty, first one in. Moon. The moon is correct, gets you up to 110, very nice. Jen, question two, it looks beautiful there. Ironically, I was just talking with one of the lifeguards who's also a biology teacher at a high school in Pennsylvania about this very topic. What in the world are we talking about? Question number two. Australia's The Great Barrier is one of the most famous examples of what kind of underwater ecosystem that provides homes for many species of fish, invertebrates, and other plants and animals. Leah, first one in. A coral reef. Is correct, gets you up to 80. Good job, students, a little fist pump there. I love to see that. All right, let's get you up to 90 here to finish this round. Jen, one final question left. Let's do it. Don't have to be a biology teacher to get this one right. You just have to be a movie fan. So here's question number three. The passenger liner RMS Titanic sank after hitting an iceberg while crossing what ocean? Miss Doherty, you were the first one in. The Atlantic. That looked like a guess, but that was correct. <laughs> hey, you had, one, uh, you had a great guess there. That gets you the points, gets you up to 120, and the round finished. Hey, a big thanks to Jennifer Frederick for leading our field trip today. She's always the best. They're so happy to have her on the show. But let's take a look at the scores, you guys. Teachers, 120 locked and loaded here for the final exam. But students, right where you need to be within one question. Students, 80 points on the board and smiling ear to ear. All right, both teams. You got a chance to win this thing in final exam. So let's wrap it up. It starts now. Okay, here's the topic. Today's final exam starts with M. So every answer is gonna start with the letter M. I love that topic. All right, I'm gonna ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is worth 100 points. Teams, you're gonna work together to write down your answers during commercial break. But first, no writing yet. I'm just gonna give you the questions. Here's question number one, and we start with this. The 19th century American belief that the United States has a God-given right to expand westward across the continent is described by what two-word phrase? Question number two starts with M. In January 2024, what YouTuber announced that he would be retiring from his popular YouTube channels in order to spend more time with his wife, Stephanie, and their children? Finally, question number three, here it is. Starts with M. What is the name of the pigment that helps determine eye color? All right, those are your questions. I gotta admit, tough, tough questions today. I already got one wrong on this show. I don't wanna be wrong three more times at final exam, but will you guys be right or wrong? That's what matters. 60 seconds is up on the clock when we go to commercial break. That timer starts. Your heads get put together and we see who wins when we come back to the classroom. Let's go, Radner. And welcome inside my classroom. Today we have the students and teachers from Radnor Middle School in Delaware County. What a game this has been. Students, I love the dynamic of this squad. You guys came in, you've been high-fiving all game, you've been smiling ear to ear ready to go against these teachers. What's the buildup been like? Did you think you were gonna come in and do as well as you have? 
I mean, obviously. I thought I was going to do better, but like. What about you, Dalton? Didn't get enough sleep. Uh, I thought we were going to lose, but. <laughs> <laughs> Honesty is a virtue. Hey, you are rocking a jersey today. Who are you, who are you supporting? Uh, Ratner Soccer. Oh, the squad? Are yeah. you playing on the team? Mm -hmm. All right, shout out to the uh, fellas. Yeah. Good season? Yeah. All right, let's go. Winning that championship. Dalton, well, listen, the championship right now is the one that matters inside the classroom. Teachers, you are in the lead as we get this thing started. And the topic was everything starts with M. So I've given you the beginning of each word. All right, three questions on the board, and they're all worth 100 points. Students, you need to get at least one more than the teachers. And teachers, everybody knows you can't finish the game. All right, you guys are not started. Like, these students are ready and geared up. But we move into the first question, which is the 19th century American belief that the United States has a God-given right to expand westward across the continent is described by what two-word phrase? Students, Bruno, we go to you. <laughs> Movement Westport. That actually is a good guess. That was a good guess, but incorrect. Mrs. P, what did you say? We went with Manifest Destiny. And that was correct. Takes the commanding two-question lead. Students, you got to get this next one right. In January 2024, what YouTuber announced that he would be retiring from his popular YouTube channels in order to spend more time with his wife, Stephanie, and their children? Miss Doherty, if you get this correct, it's the win. What did you say? We said Mr. Beast. Not retired. Students, get this right. The game continues. Otherwise, teachers win. You said... Mr. Beast. Oh, no! Teachers win the game! The answer was Matt Pat. Hey, Melanin was the answer for the eye color at the end. Come on out, y'all. You guys played great today. Hey, I want to see your classroom session next. Get your schools here. These guys are celebrating. You're next on the show. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for being with us.